It is the penultimate round of Varsity Netball 2014. It is now the UP Tags on top of the table, University of Pretoria against University of Stellenbosch, the Martins. Come on, this obstruction! The are back for Tax as they stretch away to double the lead of Marty's early on. It's gone, Tax! Well, drop ball for Romain Player. Goal defence, obstruction penalty. Obstruction coming from Yulin Rousseau, the voice you hear of your listener, Vandenberg. Oh, that's a fantastic <laughs> shot from Alyssa Mayberg, who brings her A game into the Rembrandt Hall. 94 at the moment, the score for the tuck side looking to make it even more than that and well top four child isn't she she is absolutely fantastic the moment hesitation for Romay's player to get into position is that Libba was the distributor contact made by the goal defense Julian Rousseau and an opportunity there for Vanessa Marie Toy. One minute and 42 seconds remaining in the first quarter, 15 minutes, and then we'll have a, a two minute break. It's wonderful play by Melissa Mayberg. You see how she pulled away from her mark of the goal defense, Yulin Rousseau. And again, just finding her range so nicely. Lovely play by Charmaine Bart. Bart is trying to draw first blood in the second quarter. Great interception at the back once again by Shadin van der Merwe. So much good work for the tax side. Wing defence to goal attack. Melissa Mayberg. Now Lubba. Still the movement is good from the tax side. Marty's looking to close every possible gap. And the delivery was almost perfect. And look at the stretch from Vanessa Marie and Toy. 22-14 at the moment in favour of the tax side. Once again, there's plenty of flair from Marty as they put another goal back. And once again, we have a five point game. We're having some uh, fantastic display of quality netball here between both of these two sides today. And again, it's Jeannie Stein and Shadine van der Merwe able to steal the ball away. There just seems to be a little bit of a gap between centre court and attacking players for Tux at the moment. And uh, that's the good work that's been done by Marty's. And just the number of passes that Tux are taking to get the ball in towards Melissa Mayberg and Vanessa Marie de Toy and of course the more passes you have the greater chance there are of, of interceptions but when your shooters are on form the way Melissa is tonight she's a little bit closer now Vanessa Marie this time she makes no mistake both sides sharing the spoils in the first of the power plays Prince was uh, lurking dangerously a little bit of a tussle there for the ball but contact made by Tilly de Mars and once again it's Vanessa Marie de Toy and again uh, it's uh, on successive occasions now that Joe Prince has made the contact he has an opportunity for Melissa Maybach and once again very cool calm and collected perhaps this is an opportunity where Tux will stretch things away as we've spoken about the third quarter can be so crucial and so far Tux have come up with three unanswered goals 22 has become 25 Marty stuck on three the opportunity for Melissa Mayberg, captain of the side, as they've gone 4 for 4 now. And Tuxen stolen another centre pass away from the Marty side, but did you look to fight back from Yulene Rousseau? Side, but it does look even as early as the middle stages of the third quarter that we are going to have a Pretoria Bloemfontein final. Vanessa Marie de Toy having to do a little bit more leg work. And, oh, that's a delightful little pass from uh, Tina Madau. Madau. And the two-pointer for Tux. Well, at the moment, they're sharing the spoils to each as far as the goals are concerned. Lovely feed there by Zet Lubba. No problems for Melissa Maybad. So... Giselle Lemma plays as a centre goal player. The wing defence is on a uh, goal attack now at the moment to support uh, Melissa Mayberg. I'm going to stop. Uh, Marty is trying to reduce the deficit and trying to get inside the 20 point differential. He's able to link up. He'll probably just play the feeder role. That is the end of the fourth quarter, the end of the match as well. It seemed to be ended a little prematurely. I thought there were still 90 seconds remaining. 68 to 46 in favour of UP Tux. It will be a Tux Costi's final.